sometimes a gallery like this gallery pops up. You walk in at the right time. You've got gray hair. <laughs> Most galleries would see gray hair and go, wait a minute, we, we want young artists. But this is when you walk in and um, they're saying, we want to show your work. You know, we think what you're doing is valuable. We want to show that. Working at the Carter Burton Network gave me the awareness of the limitations that start to happen simply because of age. We do all the more typical, traditional programming that assists older adults, like every not-for-profit does, whatever their focus is. But to, do, to take a step like an art gallery, which is sort of outside the norm of what you would think, reaches an entirely different population. The fact that an art gallery is a sort of unusual initiative for a, a not-for-profit, particularly one that deals with quality of life issues for older adults, is that it broadens your scope. It gives you more opportunity to demonstrate your mission. Well, I think coming back, it, uh, you know, I had much more awareness of, of the realities of the art world. Uh, it, and it, it's a balance with an artist. You have to stay creative and be free thinking but you do have that reality and you, you need to have some sort of balance to keep it going. When I was younger, I didn't know that. I thought the crazier I can be, the better the art's gonna be.